Hi everyone, this is Mick from Tradeify. We're going to run through setting up your labor rates so you don't miss a minute when you're charging customers for time on site. Let's take a look. Hi everyone, it's Josh from Tradeify here. In this video, I'll show you how you can add and update your billing rates in the Tradeify mobile app. Setting up billing rates will improve the accuracy of your job tracking, meaning you're charging your customers for the correct time you spend on the job. Begin by opening your Tradeify mobile app and tapping the More option at the bottom right. From here, select Settings, scroll down to Account Configurations and tap on Billing Rates. Here, you'll find all your existing billing rates. To edit an existing rate, simply tap on it. To add a new billing rate, tap the Add button at the top right corner. Now let's walk through the process of setting up a new billing rate. The first box you'll see is called Internal Description. This is the name of your billing rate and can only be viewed by you or your team. For this example, we'll call ours Standard Hourly Rate. The next field is called Customer Description. This is what your customer will see within their quotes and invoices if you have your settings set to show line items. In this example, we'll call our customer description labor. You can toggle on let me enter the price later if you're unsure about the charge amount or if this will be a variable that is never the same twice. Now, set your hourly rate under the standard price level. Let's say for this example, it's $80. If you have additional pricing levels for different customers, for example, residential versus commercial, these will each need an hourly rate. You can learn how to set up price levels in our help center or video guide. Advanced options allow you to determine if your rate includes tax, the type of tax, as well as the estimated hourly internal cost. Let's say in this example, we estimate the cost to our business is $35 an hour. Note that this is important if you want to gauge potential profit when quoting and keeping track of actual profits on the job. You can learn about our job financial reports via our help center. The account field is for tracking within your chart of accounts via your accounting package. A quick reminder to check out our videos and help center on how to integrate with your accounting system if you haven't done so already. Moving on, Billing Rounding lets you choose a time interval for automatic rounding when adding time to jobs. Here we'll go with 30 minutes. This means that if we're at a job for two hours and 45 minutes, Tradeify will automatically round up the charge to three hours. Similarly, Billing Minimum is the minimum amount of time to charge a customer when tracking time on a job. So here we'll set it to one hour, meaning if we're only at a job for 30 minutes, Tradeify will automatically charge the customer for an hour. Finally, if the rate you're setting up is your most commonly used, you can tap Set as Default for it to be exactly that. Head back up to the top right and tap Save. You've successfully created a new billing rate. Billing rates can be created for different types of work, travel time, and staff. When creating a staff-specific rate, don't forget to set it as their default within their user profile. Finally, a quick reminder, everything you do on the mobile app can also be set up in the Tradeify web app so you can get the job done no matter where you are. If you have any questions, visit our help center, give us a shout or check out our other videos. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you soon.